One of the things I'm often asked is how do I put a table or chart into Active Inspire? Well, we don't have an insert table function like software such as Word, but you can really quickly and easily get tables into a flip chart in a number of ways. The first way I'm going to show you is using your shape tool. Okay, I've come into shapes. I'm going to choose a rectangle. Now if I wanted it to have a color in it, for instance I wanted it to be white on the inside, I could click the white icon up here. Um, the reason it has a black frame is because I have black and this thickness chosen over here. However, I would like to have a hollow frame and I'm going to leave it on black. I'm then going to click and drag my frame for my chart to be any size and you can see that until I drop that it continues to resize. I'm then going to add a horizontal line at the top for my headings and however many of the vertical lines, oops, except I didn't choose it, um, like so. And once again until I take my finger off that's going to restretch. Okay. If I've made a mistake and I need to move one of those lines, I just grab my mouse cursor and I do like so. Um, for people who are really concerned about getting your um, distances between your bars absolutely correct, what you can do is right click on your background and select hide grid which will um, take the tick off that and you can line things up along lines and count the boxes if you want to. Um, personally I just go for quick and easy. Um, I'll hide that grid again. Okay, the final step is I want to select these and I'll just reposition them a little on the page because perhaps that was in the wrong place. So I've selected all, I've used that to reposition and then the last step is to lock it because what I don't want to happen is when the students are writing um, in there, I don't want those lines to accidentally get picked up and moved around. So you can see here that I've gone um, to my right hand click menu options. So I've used Cheats right hand click up here. I could have got the same option by right clicking over one of those and choosing locked. Those of you who love short cuts on your keyboard control shift L okay and then we have a table that we can start writing in perhaps choose red Oops. there we go and so on okay um, right another way that you can pop a table in is if you are a fan of word and you can knock a word uh, document table up quite quickly or you have a spreadsheet and you just want to capture say a cluster of shell uh, cells out of that spread a sheet you might want to use your camera tool to do so so I'm coming to my desktop tools icon which you can see I'm hovering over there okay I'm going to go out to my desktop bring up my word document and my table I'm then going to use my camera tools from my desktop tools just on area snapshot and oh, anyone would think I've done this before if that's not lined up all I have to do is click and drag around it like so and pop it onto my current page okay then I'm going to go into my flip chart with this icon here and there's my table and then the last step would simply be to resize that and once again either use cheats right hand click up here or your object edit menu as it's supposed to be called or I could right click on my item and lock which I'm not seeing there for some reason there we go it's a bit weird okay so it's locked so once again your pen would just work perfectly well over top of that um, and one final thing I wanted to mention I've used a pretty traditional 
carol diagram type chart or frequency chart uh, just with lines but you can get quite inventive with your shapes um, and your charts so I'm going to select my hexagon here just to quickly show you I'm going to choose black here and black here which means that I won't see any um, outline color difference let's make that a bit bigger and I'm then going to go back into my shape menu and choose my diagonal tool and I'll do a bit of a vibrant color so we can see the difference here and then I'm going to join these objects up so, corner to corner done and the final step would be to add some text so I might say who what when I think you know where this is going and so on now if I am up at the board creating this because I'm doing it on the fly whoops I haven't done that one very accurately let me just move that point to there okay I can actually use um, handwriting recognition to get text up onto the board so if I'm at the panel or I'm at my interactive whiteboard and I'm creating this on the fly quickly as an extension activity for instance um, I can use handwriting recognition and then I do ask your pardon because I'm using a mouse who went say why so I'm going to write why Ooh, with a question mark this will be an interesting exercise and it should convert that to text it's not quite able to read my um, H there so as you saw I had a drop down menu and if it hadn't been the quite the punctuation I could have changed that to so you can get text onto the page um, quite quickly and easily there, where, this will be an interesting one as well. There we go, and how. then I can just position these where I'd like them to go and the students will be able to use their pen and if you're at a touch panel you will have um, up to 10 points of touch so the students can all be writing at the same time in that chart I've selected all of those because the last step as always is to lock those down so that they don't move around the screen whilst the students are busy writing okay so hopefully that's given you a few ideas as to the sorts of things and the sorts of ways that you can um, create your own charts or insert your own charts that you've previously made into Active Inspire